I'm Dots. Welcome to I Love the Library. Summer is going really fast, but there is still time to get some reading in. If you have just finished kindergarten, first or second grade, it's really important to keep on reading some during the summer. Uh, it's called summer reading loss. If you don't read at all, you go back about three months to what you were in uh, for the reading level that you had at the end of the year. All you have to do to keep it, to hang on to that reading level is to read a little bit over the summer and there is still time. Um, I've pulled out some books, some choices. We've got lots of books here at the library to choose from, from um, lots of different levels of reading and lots of different interests. If you are just starting to read, the place to come for your books is this shelf right here. It's called Easy Readers, but there's a lot of things in here that aren't so easy. So it's important to take a look at the book before you check it out. Just because it says easy doesn't mean that it doesn't have some big words. So there's a lot of variety. I have some books here. Well, here's one, Peanuts. Uh, lose the blanket, Linus, and it's got a two on it. And the words in this are actually, there's quite a few. So there's different uh, publishers level these a little differently, and this is called a level two. Um, here's one for a very beginning reader. I can read Biscuit and the Lost Teddy Bear. And there's just a few words on each page. If you're reading for summer reading program, this counts as a book, even though it doesn't have a whole lot of words. This would uh, fill a line. Um, here's another one that's, that's real easy. So I just wanted to show you that there are some books for the very beginning readers, just a few words on the page. And we can help you select these books too. Also in the easy reader section is something that's quite a bit harder. Um, Minnie and Moo and the Haunted Sweater, but oh, what a story this is. Um, there's quite a few more words. It's still not too hard. If you're reading this with somebody, maybe someone can help you with the harder words. And a lot of different subject areas in this easy reader section. Here's Flat Stanley going to bat. If you like sports, if you like softball, baseball. A princess book. Then when you get to the next level, probably finishing first or second grade, we actually have a bookmark that shows some of the different books that are what would be called a transitional reader or some early chapter books. Uh, and Judy Moody is one of them. This is maybe a little bit harder. It's kind of a long book if you're just starting to read, but the words aren't too difficult. And Judy Moody are great stories. <laughs> Mercy Watson are great stories. Uh, Mercy Watson would be one of the early, it could have maybe gone on this other shelf. Uh, the words are quite easy and the pictures are fun. And Mercy Watson is the craziest pig on earth. A little bit uh, harder, Cam Jansen. Well, these aren't terribly hard, but there's quite a few more words in Cam Jansen books and not so many pictures. But the words aren't long. And so it's, it's a doable, pretty doable for somebody who's finished first or second grade. Um, Again, there's choices in what kinds of, of stories you like. So we have a lot of rainbow magic fairy books. Uh, this one is Brooke the Photographer Fairy. And these are, these are um, transitional. The, the words aren't too hard. The stories are good. The stories have some information about whatever, about photography or whatever. Here's an old friend, Arthur and Nerves of Steel. Not so many pictures, but the words aren't too hard. And of course, the Magic Tree House, uh, a favorite, uh, almost like a nonfiction in a story. So there is still time. Come to the library, check them out, and get reading. Thanks for tuning in.